Now we're going to take a look at animating this guy's face because he is too happy and I'm starting to not trust him because, I mean, look at it. All right, let's animate it face to do that first. I'm going to go ahead and again maximize the window. Let's go frame one now to animate the face. We're going to use what are called shape keys. And this is really awesome because you guys are learning all the basics and all the how-tos of animating because this is used even in more complex animations. We're going to add in shakies first. Let's select the mouth and add in shakies. For those now shape keys, basically allow for you to animate the vertices of the mesh in edit mode. Whereas before we edited or animated the entire object right here, if we want to make him smile or frown, it's a little bit harder as well. I guess we can S and Z and do that, but it's not really intuitive. And also for the eyes, we want to animate the eyes as well. Now, obviously this is a pretty simple character, so you could get away with animating it in object mode, like I just showed you like that. However, we're going to use shakies because it's much more intuitive, and that's what you use in more advanced animations over here in the vertex or object data. We're going to go to shakies with the mouse, with the mouth selected, not the mouse, the mouth selected, hit the plus icon to add in a shape key, and it will add in a basis shape key. Now the basic shape basically tells Blender that this is the original shape and deformation of that object. This is how it is. In the basis shape, we're going to hit plus sign and add in a new shape key. And now the shape key is right here. We're going to rename this by double clicking here. We're going to name it Smile or Frown. There we go. And now to be able to make this animated, well, we're just going to increase the value to one and then hit tab to go into edit mode. Now, any changes that we make in edit mode, you'll see that after when we change the value, it will actually animate it. I'm going to hit one to go into front of you. And what I'm gonna do if I select these right here by left click and drag, and you could see only select the front vertices. And we have some vertices in the back as well. Now, by the way, if you ever get to the point where it's like not zooming in, or it's a little bit hard to move around, the selected object just hit delete on your numpad and it will zoom in and reposition that selection as the pivot point. So it's just like the back faces. I'm going to hit one to go in front of you, Z going to wireframe, and now BOQ select, and then wireframe will select the, the vertices in the back too. All right, now all I can do is hit GZ and we could bring these down to create more of a frown. However, before doing that, we're going to turn on proportional editing up here. We can enable proportional editing and we have the kind of fall off right here. We have smooth and a bunch of other ones, but we're going to select smooth. The shortcut key for this is the OK, which will turn it on and off. So with this on, if we hit G and then Z, you can see what the mouse will. Now we have a sphere of influence. And this sphere of influence will basically influence vertices around it, like so if you increase or decrease it. So I'm going to bring this down, increase the sphere of influence, and then RR to rotate and just hit GZ and bring it down again and make him have a sad face that I'm going to select these vertices here and hit R to rotate. Maybe decrease the sphere of influence. Hit GZ and bring these down as well. And maybe adjust these just a little bit by rotating them. Now let's go into object mode Z. By the way, the short cookie Z, you could go into wireframe solid or textured mode. And there we go. He has a sad face. And now check it out. If we change this value right here, he goes from happy to sad. Sweet. So with this value here, we can now animate his mouth. All right, let's bring this back to zero and let's add in one more shape key. We're going to hit the plus sign, bring the value to one once again, go in the front view tab to go into edit mode. And this time we're going to make up O expression. So it's faces, you know, his mouth is going all to do that. I'm just going to select these right here again, going wireframe selectees, and I'm going to actually bring these in, increase the sphere of influence. And the way we're going to do this is just by left click and drag and grabbing the vertices there, we're going to change this into an O shape again, 
left click and drag over the vertices G to grab. And go ahead and make this more of an O shape. Again. There we go. Make sure the back vertices are selected as well. And we're going to smooth this out in just a second. All right, something like that for now. Now what we could do is select everything right. Click and go to smooth vertices. And this will kind of smooth out your vertices a little bit. And then I'm just going to select this one G and with a sphere of influence. Bring it up like that. And adjust this one as well like that. And then again, just move it so that's more spherical looking. And that should be good, of course. You could tweak it more if you want, but I think that is good for our character. See, go back into solid mode, and there we go. He has a no tip sheet mouth. And again, if we play this, he goes from happy to all like that. And also we have the sad face right there. And we could go from sad face to mustache, and there we have it. We have mustache cube man. Now, obviously right now the two shakies are not working together. But again, this is our first animation, and we will see in future videos how to make more intuitive shakies. But for now, you can make him either go from smile to frown, or make him go from smiling to all shock face sweet. All right, now let's do the eyes quickly for the eyes. I'm going to select the sphere, add in a shape, cue the basis. I'm going to hit the plus icon again, added a new shape. He increased the value in edit mode, just with everything selected as Z. And let's let's also turn off proportional editing. Okay, as Z, let's give him some big eyes and boom. That's all we're going to do. And with this, if we play this, you could see we have that now. I'd like him to also be able to squint his eyes. Now you'd think that we would add a new shape key, but actually all we have to do is unarranged minimum because right now it's going to zero. If we put the range minimum to negative one, we can now bring it on the opposite axis and make him kind of squint like that. So now he could increase his eyes and be in shock and squint like that as well. And let's actually bring it to a negative point. Seven negative points, seven. Negative point, seven, eight, I guess, so that we can't squash his all the way. The boom, 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 and a value of zero, of course, is how the eyes are. Normally, I'm going to go ahead. It's like this. I delete it like this one shifty X and copy it over. And so now on both eyes, we have animal values for the shock and expression of his eyes. All right, sweet. So that is how we are going to animate facial features again and more complicated animations. Shaped keys are also used. This is a very simple example, but in the next tutorial, we're going to see how to actually animate these and add some shape keys. All right, let's save this. I'm just going to hit control is to save over the previous one for this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now of the...